is the hole in the center of the iris now you see here on the upper end of the eye there is lacrimal gland present it is an exocrine gland therefore it pours its secretions by means of a tear duct this is the upper eyelid and the lower eyelid which consists of a layer of eyelashes now you see here this is the side view of the eye the sclera is surrounded by a transparent layer known as conjunctiva and this iris and pupil they are surrounded by means of a cornea it's a um, it is a it is it bulges outward and it is a dome shaped structure cornea is made up of mucus layer water watery layer and oil layer so it's surrounded by means of three layers it provides protection to the iris and pupil this conjunctiva which is a transparent layer also provides a uh, protection to the eye lacrimal gland as you can see almond shaped structure and it pours its secretions by means of a um, tear duct these are meibomian glands they produces oil and they are antibacterial in action now what happens this conjunctiva sometimes it inflamed and it results in a disease known as conjunctivitis so you can see conjunctivitis which is basically inflammation of conjunctiva reddening of eye occurs in conjunctivitis and it also happens if you see an infected eye or conjunctivitis eye if you stare it for a long period of time so it can results in conjunctivitis in your eye so it actually it's a communicable disease now you see here this clara in the front view of the eye and in the um in the transverse section of the eye we can see or you can actually find here sclera sclera is the white part of the eye sclera is surrounded by means of conjunctiva you see here conjunctiva is the outermost layer next to uh, sclera is conjunctiva right and cornea is basically a dome shaped structure which is found outside the um, iris and pupil Now here we're going to see iris and pupil. Front view we can see here and we can see here in the um internal structure of the eye we can see here iris and pupil. Right? So the pupil increases in size or reduces in size it depends on the amount of light entering the eye. So basically pupil is involved in the adjustment of mm -hmm. light. So the outermost layer is the um, conjunctiva which is a transparent layer next to conjunctiva is um, sclera which is the white part of the eye inside the sclera is another layer which is called as the choroid and choroid basically provides nourishment to the eye it has a lot of blood vessels provide nutrients to the eye and inside choroid is retina which contains photoreceptor cells now you see here this um, pupil it is um, the, in the center of the iris and this iris is made up of circular muscles you see here these are the circular muscles and radial muscles right and um, it's what happens in the bright light pupil constricts so that a lot of our light do not enters inside the eye because if in bright light if a um, large amount of light enters the eye so it basically damages the light so what happens circular muscles um, they constrict they contract and as a result these radial muscles relax so one pair of muscles contracts and the other relaxes they're acting in the opposite direction of each other so they're like antagonistic uh, muscles right so when um, pupil constricts or reduces in size so it is basically because of the contraction of the circular muscles and now you see here 
the pupil dilates because uh, the person is in the dim light so the pupil dilates so that maximum amount of light enters the eye so what happens here is the circular muscles relaxes whereas radial muscles con contracts and this is this is what happens in normal light um, so that uh, enough amount of light enters the eye so that the person can see in the normal conditions right now we will see the or we will discuss the anatomy of human eye so you see outermost layer of the eye is conjunctiva this transparent layer right next to conjunctiva is sclera which is the white part of the eye you can see here right and then you can see here cornea which is a, a dome shaped structure right and then we have iris and pupil inside iris and pupil lens is present biconcave lens is present lens is attached by means of ciliary muscles and suspensory ligaments so between lens and cornea there is this this portion is called as the anterior chamber it is filled with aqueous humor it is basically a fluid uh, produced by ciliary body and it basically uh, protect gives the shape of the cornea it actually keeps the uh, cornea shape firm and in the between the lens and the retina a uh, vitreous body is present which is filled with vitreous humor it basically gives the um, it keeps the eyeball shape firm and rigid so these um, vitreous humor is basically jelly like structure and aqueous humor is like fluid water like structure and um, second the sclera is the outermost layer right next to sclera is choroid you can see here see this is sclera this one is choroid the next one uh, choroid is the second layer of the eye it uh, provides nourishment and third layer is retina which has photoreceptor cells right and you can see here the rectus muscle medial rectal muscles and lateral rectus muscle basically the eyeball this eyeball is attached in the uh, attached or it is uh, firmly placed in the orbit by means of these muscles known as rectus muscles and because of these muscles it basically we are able to move our eyeballs and we are able to move left right up down right so this was the anatomy of human eye now uh, let's discuss the retina retina contains photoreceptor cells right rods and cones you see here yellow spot this is called as the yellow spot fovea centralis here uh, cones are very dense large amount of cones are present so if we are seeing different colors and fine details or uh, uh, 20 by 20 vision is basically uh, given to us or by uh, by by this yellow spot or fovea centralis if you are able to see fine colors details it is because of this yellow spot or we can call it fovea centralis basically macula is the uh, portion the um, and in the center of the mac the center of the macula is called as the fovea centralis so uh, in macula or uh, fovea centralis cones are present in large quantity and cones actually help us to see different colors cones are one of the photoreceptor cells found in the retina and in the yellow spot or fovea centralis no rods are present rods basically help us to see in the dim light and cones basically help us to see in the bright light now you see the retina contains photoreceptor cells you see here the rod cells and the cone cells blue red and green in color cone cells are of three like blue green and red and they help us to see different colors so if we we, we see we can, if we can see different colors it's because of these cone cells right and blind spot is that spot uh, in the eye where there are no photoreceptors present right it is the portion of the eye where the uh, retina converts the image into electric signals and send it to the brain by means of an optic nerve so opti when optic nerve leaves the eye and moves to the brain th that portion is called as the blind spot no photoreceptors present that's why it's called as blind spot now rods also contains visual purple 
it is a pigment which is concerned with vision in dim light so what happens when we are in the bright light this uh, visual purple pigment it just bleaches out and then when we move from the bright light into the uh, in, inside the house or in dim light so what happens for some time we are unable to see things properly uh, it is because that it, it takes some time uh, for uh, visual purple to develop again and to work again. In people who are um, who don't have vitamin A in their body, like who are deficient in vitamin A or who do not have excess vitamin A in their body, so they, are, they suffer from a disease known as night blindness. So um, for a visual purple to form or to work properly vitamin A is required and if vitamin A is deficient in the body then night blindness occur the person is unable to see in the dim light that's why it's called as the night blindness so this that's it for today i hope you have enjoyed and you have learned a lot um, thanks for watching and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe my youtube channel thank you